Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to Iman Eats. Today I have something very interesting, something very exciting and if you know me as a dietitian, I am obsessed with eggs during Ramadan especially. This is because when we wake up at the early hours in the morning, here in South Africa we have to be up almost as early as 4 a.m. and it's very difficult to get your body in tune to be eating breakfast at that time. I know most of us would be eating probably closer to 7 or 8 o'clock so you're pushing your body at least 3 to 4 hours earlier. This not only makes it more difficult to eat any food but especially protein. This results in us then rushing towards the carb-loaded foods, which then results in us feeling hungry sort of around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock during the day before even 50% of the fast has been completed. If we end up being hungry and tired during the day, this results in us not being able to do our daily prayers and we are very fatigued by the end of the day and unable to stand for our tarawi or evening prayers. So eggs are very beneficial because it is a lower cost protein. It's available widely. And then I've got for you today some hummus, which is made with chickpeas. You are more than welcome to make your own hummus beforehand. However, if you're in a rush like I am, I often just order this online with the stores that's available to us that deliver quickly and easy. So it's got my chickpeas and it is your hummus ready made. I've got some Danish feta over here, a nice avocado. Um, avocados are more in season at the moment, so we're getting a lot of um, cheaper versions of your avocados. For those of you that have avocado trees, you guys are very lucky um, because of the prices of avocados fluctuating consistently during the year. And then avocados are excellent in your healthy fats or your good fats. So this is something that will bring your cholesterol down, giving you optimal heart health, which we want not only during Ramadan, but out of Ramadan as well. Then I've got a little bit of pepper, which you need seasoning for everything. Notice that I don't often use additional salt in my meals and this is simply for heart health because most of the items that I'm using here, the ready prepared hummus, the Danish feta, these are already salt containing foods and so that we don't want to add extra salt to our meals thereby keeping our, health, our hearts very healthy. I've got some chives, fresh chives for um, a garnish and then I've just got some um, bread that I bought also from my online quick store. You can use any bread of choice, whether it be your olive loaf, your um, baguette, your general baguette, you can use your ciabatta, you can use your rye bread, whatever you're comfortable with using. Just remember, if your bread is made with brown flour or low GI, whole wheat, seeded, these are the words that we want as these are your higher fiber containing breads, which then stabilize your blood sugar throughout the day. Remember that even if you're not diabetic, your blood sugar spikes with every meal that you eat and that's resulting in you um, having sort of a sugar high and then you drop to have a low. So if we eat meals that are high in fiber with a protein and a low, uh, low in your refined carbohydrates, which is like your sweeties and your chocolates and your sugars, then this results in us being fuller for longer and keeping us healthy throughout our fast and also not causing a sugar low when we break our fast at iftar time. So this one's quite easy to prepare. I have um, just my freshly sliced bread. You're welcome to toast it if you want to. However, in South Africa at the moment with the load shedding issues, this is a good idea if you just cut it fresh and not have it toasted because sometimes the toast is not working. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into it at the moment. All right. So very simple, very straightforward. I'm just going to sort of butter my hummus onto the bread. Okay, so hummus is something that a lot of people may not like. Remember, if you want to swap it out for something else, you could use your regular butter or nut butter. If you're suffering with heart disease or high cholesterol, it's a good idea to use your um, Flora Proactive as the ingredients in your Flora Proactive help to reduce your cholesterol as well. So I'm just layering some hummus on. You'll notice that some are thicker, some are thinner layered, and this is just because um, it's based on someone's taste buds and how much hummus that you enjoy. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up an avocado. Um, you can slice it up as much as you want. I would love to make an avocado rose one day, so if someone knows how to do it, you're welcome to hit me up, find me on Instagram, and teach me the basic way to cut an avocado because really I've tried and I failed dismally over and over again. So I'm just going to do it the old school way where I'm just taking off the peel simply and I'm just going to put slices of avo onto my bread. This is where it may get a lot messy. So let's just see how this one goes. So 
So one thing I don't like about avocados is that you cannot really cut it beforehand because they brown very quickly. Um, I do know that you can use lemon juice and black pepper on it to then sort of prevent the browning. However, mine forever gets brown. So I'm not a big fan of cutting them beforehand and it's something that you have to do very fresh. Um, and I hope that these will stay or that they come out rather nice and fresh. Let's give it a chop up. Okay, so the amount of avo that you put on is entirely up to you as well. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I've used a boiled egg. So you're welcome to use a scrambled egg. You can poach your egg. Ideally, don't fry your egg. Remember, anything that is deep fried um, is unhealthy for your heart. It's got a lot of calories inside. It may give you heartburn, especially during Ramadan. And that's something that you don't really want to be suffering from the entire day during your fast. So while we're on the topic of deep frying items, remember that samosas are excellent. Samosas are great. And I know that us Indians love our samosas. And usually in Ramadan, we have a tablecloth of savouries across our uh, uh, instead of like, you know, having a little bit here and there. But this is something where we can try to improve and use less of our savory items and rather focus on using wholesome, healthy food. Because I remember our bodies are, are, are in Amana. It's given to us by Allah SWT to look after and um, looking after it also means having healthy, nutritious foods, um, keeping your health up to standard, being able to have the energy to stand up and have your evening prayers um, go easy and smoothly for you without you being hungry or overfull or feeling super bloated. Okay, so I've got some nice, nicely chopped or as nice as it could possibly be, uh, some boiled eggs over there. Like I mentioned, scrambled eggs, poached eggs can also be done. And then feta. I think feta is, you could sprinkle feta on everything. Sprinkle it on your wallet, it may do good things. But that's how I feel about feta. And I'm just gonna sort of sprinkle a lot on here. Feta is a cheese, so it's a protein. So it adds extra protein on top of the eggs and your um, hummus at the bottom. So this is like a nice high protein loaded meal that is definitely gonna keep you feeling fuller for longer. It's just got some protein over there. And then last but not least, my Pepper. Pepper is entirely up to you how much you want to use. Just remember, you don't want to be suffering from heartburn because Gaviscon is not allowed while you're fasting or any of your heartburn medication. And then you can chop up some chives. You could cut it with a scissor, which is what I actually should have done here because it makes it a lot easier. I think I'm just going to break them over here. If you don't have time to garnish your meals, please do not feel like you have to. It's not master chef at the end of the day. You want something that's healthy, nutritious, easy. And also uh, if, if you're a mom and a wife like I am, you don't want to keep your family waiting while you're making the perfect Instagrammable plate. There's no harm in making your plate Instagrammable. It looks beautiful and it inspires others to make your healthy, nutritious meals as well. And there we have it, a simple, easy, refreshing meal, ideally for um, suhoor or your iftar. Thank you for joining me on Iman Eats, which is exclusively brought to you by Hilal TV on DSTV channel 347. Ramadan Kareem to one and all. Remember my family and I in your du'as and remember the Muslim Ummah in your du'as. Jazakallah khair.